Hey guys, Jim here. Today we're going to go over blood flow and what happens during respirations. When we breathe in, the intrapulmonary or the intrathoracic pressures actually drop below your atmospheric pressure, thus allowing the diaphragm to contract, lower, and flatten. At the same time, this will increase your intra-abdominal pressures as a result of the diaphragm lowering, and blood flow from your lower extremities will decrease. However, all the blood from the veins in your intrathoracic cavity will increase, as well as blood flow from your upper extremities, neck, and head. This will all increase blood flow to your heart. Then when a patient breathes out, your intrapulmonary or your intrathoracic pressures will increase higher than your atmospheric pressure, allowing your diaphragm to relax, raise, and return to its convex dome-like shape. Now because your diaphragm is raising, this will decrease your intra-abdominal pressures, thus allowing blood flow from your lower extremities to increase, while blood flow in the veins in your thoracic cavity, upper extremity, neck and head will decrease. Now when you view the diaphragm from the side, it will resemble a crescent-like shape. I'm Jim with UltraSamBoardOfView.com. We'll see you next time.